I'm in Syracuse to do a giant mural of some of the pioneers of Syracuse basketball. I do a lot of realistic, large-scale murals of Los Angeles and sports figures from all over the country in movies, TV shows, and the history of Syracuse basketball has never really been portrayed. And Frank Malfatana from the Syracuse Jazz Fest reached out to me if I had an interest in painting Dolph Shays, um, Manny Breland, and a few others on this wall. They absolutely, you know, a chance to explore the country and do something different. And I kind of looked, Googled, looked through what kind of murals were in Syracuse, and I didn't really see any that tied in either the old nationals or the orange or anything like that and that was a possibility to do something totally different in a part of the country I'd always wanted to explore and that led to this. I've always liked doing representational stuff because it kind of shows a side of things that isn't just the artist's interpretation, it actually shows like what sports heroes they lived there or played there, what movies took place there, kind of the pop culture side of it and it gives locals something to be proud of and gives tourists something to check out or and gives like future generations something to research. We chose a black and gray you know, design for all this because as time goes on it won't fade and teams change colors, you know, things happen. Some of the old photos of like Manny Brillen you can't even really get in color so kind of added to the historical significance of it and kind of wanted to avoid feeling dated as time went on. I'm so excited. I mean I've never been to central New York as a whole and it's really exciting to see. I mean I have a bunch of buddies that went to Syracuse and friends that played minor league ball out here and I've still never tried a salt potato so you know, excited to actually get to explore and going to be here for about a month. So get to hit the breweries, get to try the different restaurants. So I'll the dinosaur barbecue on day one. Like I feel like I kind of have to and I'm just going to work my way through the city and hopefully, you know, maybe it'll lead to other murals for me or for local artists or whoever. And just kind of, it's nice to be able to go out and talk about, you know, what I'm doing here and that'll build interest in the mural and hopefully get create more murals in the city for people to come see.